In this video, we will look at how to add Bootstrap to our website. Bootstrap allows you to have a very nice looking website in a very little amount of time. By the end of this video, we will change the look of our website from this to that in just few minutes. All right, so let's begin. Step number one, go to getbootstrap.com and click examples, scroll down, and then you will see different different examples of Bootstrap. But in this video, we will use fix navbar because we want to change our website to look like that. I'll click on that and right click on this page, select view page source. I'll select all, control A, copy this page and move to sublime. And I create a new file by typing control N or by selecting file, new file and paste the content here and save it as home.html but since i already have home.html i'm gonna go and then rename that to home old I'll add home old and i will save the other content as home.html all right so i will open the old home and bring this content load static files which is step three go all the way up and paste load static files and I'll also copy the title and bring it up bring it down to where I have main in the h1 tag I will paste the code right here and finally I'll bring um, this line of code to where I linked my CSS or the style sheet. In the header tag, I'll paste it just above that line. Save it and then go back to the home page and click refresh. You can see nothing really changed apart from uh, some content being added. So, but it's telling us that Django is not able to load the CSS files that came with Bootstrap. So if I go to, if I press F12 on my keyboard, it's telling me that it cannot, it is trying to look for Bootstrap that main that CSS, navbar top fix that CSS, and it's also looking for Bootstrap that bundle that main that JS, but it's not able to see those files and then it flagged them as errors. So now if I go back to the source code, we can see that these files are linked but Django is not able to find them we're gonna download all of these CSS files in our CSS folder where Django will look into and find these CSS files so to download that I'm gonna click it and the code of that CSS will be loaded and I'll right click that and click save us and I will navigate to my static folders inside CSS and I'm gonna save that I close that and then go to the other CSS file which is navbar top fix that CSS click it right click and then click save save that one as well okay so I will go back to sublime and make sure I properly link the CSS files like how Django does it so to do that I will copy that and paste it right here and then take the name of the CSS file that we want to link, cut it, and then replace that other name. All right. And lastly, I'm going to copy that and for bootstrap the main CSS, I'm going to paste it right here. Paste it and then change the name to bootstrap that mean that CSS save it and then head back to our page and then click refresh you can see the page is loading fine and all the bootstrap CSS files are loading well but if I come here you can see we have one more file that is still not able to load which is a JS file and it's in line 73 if I go back to sublime and if I scroll down to line 73 all right so I will select that paste it 
and then take the name the file name and cut it and over that bootstab.main.css and since this is a javascript file we're gonna point it to js instead of css and we will do the same thing for the rest of the js files copy the entire line and for the second one i'm gonna paste it right there paste it and check the name cut it and override that all right here you can see um sublime is marking this as white it's because of our quotations how they have been embedded so i'm gonna um use double quotation in this case take out that code and then put double code and this one too i'll put double code there sorry double code it and then move to the next one the last one copy that line again from the fourth slash paste that and move this and replace the name of this other file okay so i think that's all i'm gonna save it and then head back to the site and click refresh and you can see all the errors are gone all right so i'm gonna take out this red background from the one we did in the previous video which is sitting inside stylesheet.css i'm gonna take out the background color and i'm gonna pull out the color as well save it and then refresh I can I'm clicking refresh but it's not happening so our browser especially Chrome keep caching these static files or JS and CSS files so I'm gonna click on control and press refresh so that it will um, throw away all the cache and then try to load in all the CSS and JS files as well so you can see our page is really looking like how we want it to look like all right so I will go back to the home page and and then changing some text like this text here i'm gonna say this is our home page save it and then refresh and this button i'm gonna use it as a login button so i can come here and then change content of that button and type login with capital l save it and head back and click refresh all right so this is how you add bootstrap to Django but just before ending this video we're gonna change um, the fixed nav bar to CIMS that means uh, computer Invest inventory management system we create a link to the other pages that we have which is computer entry and computer list so I'm gonna head back to sublime and right here where I have nav bar like where the navs is I'm gonna you gonna change that name and then call it CIMS computer inventory management system or whatever name you want to give it so we have link I'm gonna link it to computer list computer list and the link where you have the hash you type uh, forward slash computer underscore list so that's the part that you specified in URLs page or in the URLs of py so that right there is what i'm gonna put in there sorry this other one computer list and computer entry i'm gonna go to home page and make sure we have first last computer list and next one will be computer entry and the name will be computer entry and save that click so save it and go back to the page and refresh bootstrap is showing us that you can disable a link or you can type this key or this class that will disable a particular link but we're gonna take out that and save it click 
refresh so if you click on computer list it will take you to the computer list page and if i go back and click computer entry it will take us to this page but you can see these two pages are not being bootstrapped so i'm gonna do that quickly i'm gonna take the same one like i'm gonna take my home page select all copy and go to computer list i paste it right down and take the content from table all the way up to title cut it and then bring it into where i have our, our override the p and the a tag the button and the the p tag i'm gonna paste that code right there and i'm gonna uh take out this other title sorry and then delete what we have up the remaining part of our old um, computer list save it and then go back and click click computer list you can see the pages change just as simple as that i'm gonna go back to home page select all copy again and then open computer entry just come down a little bit and then press ctrl v to paste that and take the content from forms copy or cut it delete the rest of the the all page content and then paste it within uh, that same container or right here and then paste it right here Control v paste it and then save it and we go back and click computer entry you can see okay so there's an error going back to computer list um computer list check the url it's supposed to oh we left out the fourth slash right here save it and click back refresh it and then click that you can see we can now go to computer entry without any error you can click on computer list computer entry and then let's fix the home button as well if i go back to the pages on the home i'll just put a slash on that page go to computer entry and then select that replace it with a slash and the same thing for home button or for the home page select that and then put forward slash this is how you can change the design or uh, the look of your Django pages in a very short amount of time I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it was useful to you and if you really like this video and you want to see a lot more videos from from us please click on the subscribe button and please also make sure the bell icon is selected so that you will have notification from us and we will make sure we, we keep on posting videos every week so click on that subscribe button so that you'll be alerted anytime we upload a video thanks and see you in the next video